So I broke out my last stash and these are my hoppers, box cars, so my thinking is I'm keeping these box cars, I may keep some of these, but everything over here is for sale. So starting at the top, some of these numbers are the same, these Delaware and Hudson's are the same. See one has metal wheels, one doesn't, so one must be older. Uh, yeah, one has the yellow case and that may be older or that may be newer. I don't know how it worked, but uh, so I have two of those. Then I have two of, uh, three of these Western Merlin. So here's something I didn't know back then, that they had different numbers, but these numbers are the same. All three of these numbers are the same. And you see this one has metal wheels. And this one, these two do not. They're plastic wheels. Uh, they're uh, Western and Merlin. Then I have a Western Merlin, same number, uh, plastic wheels, just different color. Uh, I have a Redding, Norfolk and Western, Salmont line. I like this one. This is pretty cool. You can't, it's hard to see, but it's uh, dark green, CNW. Pretty cool. I like that car with the yellow end. An NS Union Pacific Erie Lackawanna. This is green too. It's hard to tell, like a dark green. Uh, Ontario Northland and a Sioux line. All these cars that you see have uh, Rapido couplers. Now the box cars. I have a 50 foot double door, family lines, metal wheels. This is older. I have two of them, same numbers. Both have metal wheels. I have a Swift refrigerated car, metal wheels. Pretty cool car. I used to like Swift. Then I have this KCS Southern Bell, metal wheels. I'm guessing these cars are from the 80, like late 80s, early 90s, the yellow case ones, but I can't really remember. I have two Redding double door box cars. By the way, these, uh, this Southern Bell was a double door box car. All 50 footers here. Two of these, two ICGs with metal wheels, double door 50 footers, and this b &O Sentinel Service, double door 50 footer. Now the 40 footers. I have a little Redding, little Sioux line, uh, little Seaboard Two Bay Hopper, AFC two bay hopper. I have two of them. <sighs> uh, over to 50 footers again. I have a 50 foot uh, double door Pennsylvania. And this one's pretty cool. I was going to keep it, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, it's a seaboard railroad, but the root of the Robert E. Lee. 50 foot double door metal wheels. And these Tropicanas, I got six of them. If somebody's interested in them, yeah, I'll get rid of them. Other than that, I'll probably keep them. Uh, they're all the same number, and that's that. This is what I'm going to keep, just because. So this is a roundhouse kit. Uh, it's got wheels. I think the wheels are inside, but... Uh, And I like this. This is pretty cool. I think this is pretty special. 
It's uh, the B&O Sentinel. It's a little 40-footer. doesn't really fit my railroad, but I kind of like it. Uh, another kit, Santa Fe, uh, big door, 50-footer. A couple Pennsylvania 40 footers. I like them. I like this one. Don't stand me still. Both of them have metal wheels. Another CN kit. Uh, that's what it looks like together from Roundhouse. A Redding uh, three bay hopper. Airflow. You know. Yeah. Three bay hopper. Redding. Just because I like hoppers. Uh, another roundhouse kit, CP rail, something different, they're cool cars, and a Pennsylvania, another little Pennsylvania, I think that's the same number as, yeah, it's the same number as that one, both with metal wheels, and last but not least, the only coal hopper that I'm going to keep is this Conrail. <sighs> So let's go over to my engine. I'm going to keep these for now. I think um, I tried running them. So I have a set that I had bought too. I'll put a picture of it um, here. So I'm going to show you some of the locos that I have, uh, other than those lifelike ones uh, and Bachman ones that I showed you at the shop. Let me show you these other ones. These are Atlas. So this is two Atlas and one Spectrum Bachman, and that is a Dash 8 Conrail. I like those uh, Conrail Dash 8s. They're like my favorite GE, if there was a favorite GE. You guys know I don't like GEs. Uh, Jeep 35, Jeep 35, Pennsylvania, and Redding. I like these B-Line, uh, this two-tone Redding paint. Yeah, that's what I got it for. That's what it was marked at, a once-a-year sale. That's the only time I would buy these things. Because back then, 90 bucks back in the... What was that, like 92, I think. Yeah, 1992. Uh, yeah, 90 bucks. 100 bucks for a locomotive. That was a lot of money back then, man. Now it's like, you know, now it'd be like the equivalent of 200 now. But, uh, yeah, that's those. And this is the little layout. That's my Broadway Limited. Oh, uh, Pennsylvania. You guys seen that before. Uh, that's another Atlas RS3. That one's really good. So what is spoken for is the CNW Hopper, one of the ICG 50-foot um, boxcars, one of the Redding 50-foot boxcars, um, both uh, two bay hoppers, and two Tropicana cars. And... That is it. So if you want anything, uh, contact me. Find my email in the about page and shoot me an email. And we'll strike up a deal. Until then, say it, be well, be blessed. Say it!